Hey Huns, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. This is the first video of the year, so of course I had to come on here and tell my Huns Happy New Year. I hope all of you guys had a wonderful Christmas, New Year, Thanksgiving and all that jazz. In today's video, I will be unboxing with you guys my P. Louise um, package that I received. So if that's something that you're interested in, then stay tuned. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Nikki. I just wanna welcome you huns to the crew, basically. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can be notified every time I make an upload and you won't be left behind and you'll be in the loop. All right, hun, so let's just jump right into it. I was super excited once I received this package, so much so that I did not open it up because I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I will say, let me give you guys just a bit of a background. Um, P. Louise is a makeup artist based in the UK that eventually opened up her own makeup line. I use her base. If you have watched um, my previous makeup videos, you know that I use her eyeshadow base. It is phenomenal. Um, other YouTubers swear by it because it is the real deal. So of course, when she came out with um, it was a holiday collection she had pre-ordered, so I pre-ordered this back in November. I didn't receive it till like the ending of December, and because it is a UK brand, obviously the shipping, it takes longer to make it here to the US. So even though it got shipped out, I want to say mid-December, I didn't receive it till about the ending of December, early January, I believe. Uh, no, we're in January. So it's like really the end of December, if not, it was like around the 2nd or the 3rd of January, but... Regardless of the fact, I was super excited that I received it. I couldn't wait. Like, I literally was stalking my mailbox for this. So, enough of me rambling on about the package. Let's just get right into it. First, let's look at this box. It looks like a shoe box, but I thought it was super cute. I know on her IG story, she had two boxes. So, she had this one, which is the naughty box. And I don't know how they chose the packaging as far as who got what, but you either got a naughty or a nice box. The naughty box was black with pink writing, and then the nice box was pink with black writing. So, I thought this was super cute. It has her signature down here, and this is basically her makeup line of their symbol. So, this is what it is. So let's just jump right into it. So when I first open up the box, it looks literally like I just got a new pair of shoes, which, you know, shoes excites me. But it comes with this gold P. Louise card. It says, hey, doll, thank you for your purchase. Be prepared to go out of there, to go out there and slay. Ever wondered how to get the most out of your purchase? Head over to her website to reveal your exclusive tutorial video using the code below. Shine on, babe. Love, P. Louise. And it came with a special delivery P. Louise sticker. So that's nice. I guess you just wanted to keep with the packaging. So let's just get right into this uh, box. So this is nice. It came... There's a box within a box, basically. So she sent me, well, I ordered rather, the makeup bases again, just so I wouldn't run out of them. I actually ordered one for me and two in the color for my best friend because she wanted to try it. So this is the P. Louise makeup base. I got her, I'm in the deeper color. If you're in a deep, if you're a deeper skin complexion, you wanna get, rumor four or five i use both four and five um but five is more my color so i just got me another rumor five and then because my best friend is in a lighter complexion i got her rumor two and that is a lighter complexion so these are just the normal bases that she sells which i live by and i adore so this next one is i don't even know what this is because I guess this was like a little extra because I don't think, yes, this was an extra because I don't think I ordered this. So that's a nice surprise. This is the Shine On Baby I've Been Bad Babe. This is a glitter pigment. So this is very nice. This was a gold glitter pigment. It's called Goldgasm. 
Oh, this is very nice. And it looks like it's very thin milled. It has um, the little thing on it to block it, so you won't be able to see it, but this is, super okay, so you can see it moving here. If you focus a little bit, now I'm gonna shake, and it looks like sand. So this is nice. I'm super excited to try like a glitter look with this. I'm not sure if I ordered this or not, or if she sent it. I'll have to look back again. This is something that I ordered in November, and, um, it came in January and I legit forgot. And excuse my nail, it literally broke. If you guys don't know, like I normally have long nails, but I don't know if I've ever told you, like these are my real nails. They grew out this long and I just have the acrylic put on there. And so basically I was putting away a big jar of conditioner and it fell and it pushed my nail back and it broke it off the nail bed. So like my entire nail like lifted up. It was very, very painful. It still sometimes hurts today, but I basically, I have to wait until it heals so I can, the acrylic that's on top of it, that it could be removed. And then I'm just gonna cut all these bad boys down and start from fresh. So that's where I'm at right now. That is how I literally ended my year because this happened, I wanna say right after Christmas, like a day or two right after Christmas. So it was crazy. Like it still hurts if I touch it like this. But anyway, I'm super excited to try this gold pigment. Now, let's see what else. So, like I said, there is another box in here. So, let's take out this box. And then this. Okay, so I can move. So, this is the base that I'm super excited about. This is what I remember. Um, one of the reasons why I actually placed the order. So like I said, she, when she first launched, she launched different palettes as well as the base, but the base were basically uh, skin tone colors for um, the people that were getting their makeup done. So this new line that she launched, she launched different colors. So she did like bright pigments. There were oranges, there was reds, yellows, blues. I really haven't been playing with colors like that as far as my makeup. I do more of a neutral eye. And then if I do go crazy with color, it's like literally just me playing with makeup, not necessarily to go outside. So it's not my thing. I'm sort of kind of trying to step out of my box this year to try different things. It's different things that I want to try just to get creative. But to make a long story short, one of the new bases that she came out with was a black. And everybody knows, and I think everybody loves and appreciates a nice black smoky eye. So I thought this would be the perfect, perfect addition to my connection to do a nice black smoky eye. So it came with the black makeup base and a brush, um, a brush that she created, which she came, she came out with makeup brushes, not for a full face from my understanding. I believe it was just brushes based on to get the best application for from her makeup bases. So it came with the, yeah, so that's what it was literally. And I'm so happy. I wanted to, I always wonder what brushes they were using when she um, posts like her stories and makeup artists that she teach within the UK and it's actually her brush. So I'm actually glad this one came with it. So it came with this P. Louise brush here. And then of course, the black base, which I am super excited to use. I think this will be my first makeup look that I'm gonna do for 2019, which will be a nice black smoky eye, but it's about the same size as the other bases. It's just the base is black. So I'm super excited to try that. So aside from the black base that I was super excited about, the next thing that I just had to have and that I super loved was in this box. And it is just, it says, caution, contents may lead you astray. And it comes in this box here. And it is a palette, one of the palettes that she came up with, she created, um, she, she explained it as a palette that she had always dreamed about. It was a luxury palette, something that she loved and she always looked for in a palette. She did create another palette before, but it was just like more of your, I wanna say your, necessity palette as far as for a makeup artist because she was a makeup artist and she knew what she looked for and she created those palettes. This, she said, was a palette that she always dreams about. So when I saw the palette, it to me spoke luxury. It looks gorgeous. Um, all of the 
reviews that I saw on it and different people swatching it, they said the pigmentation and everything was gorgeous. So I was just like, okay, yeah, I had to have my hands on it. So when she socked it, that is definitely what I did. And when I tell you, she made sure that this palette was secure. Like, I'm just gonna let you see the inside. The palette is literally covered in this like bubble wrap paper. And this is a different type of bubble wrap paper. I've never seen this before in any of my packages. And you guys know, um, I mean, I don't like to say I get packages on the regular, but I've ordered enough packages in my day to have seen different types of bubble wrap and I've never seen this before. But you can tell, like she thought of it to make sure, you know, the palette wasn't damaged during delivery and different stuff like that. Like this is a, legit like this was made for this palette like look at this this is this was smart it is it, it was literally made a container for a palette this is very nice and smart to me i guess from working in marketing and having a marketing background i look at presentation and stuff like that and that's thoughtful so like you can tell that she thought about the entire process through it but this is called the secret center palette and let me just say, this thing feels heavy. Um, it is in another box, but the box seems very thin. And the actual palette, I'm trying not to break another nail, y'all. The actual palette um, <clears throat> looks like it comes in a, I'm sorry, excuse me. Looks like it comes in a jewelry box looking thing. So let's see. So it comes in a box and then it looks like it comes, okay, no, it's not another box. So it came in a box slip this out put this to the side and this to me is gorgeous so this is how the palette looks and it looks like a jewelry box like you know when you have your typical jewelry box you have the glass and whatever design that it is so this is her like her monogram her symbol it says p louise which is beautiful like p louise if you ever see this darling you did it and it comes with a very nice size mirror. I don't want you to see, but look at this mirror. Like that is a very nice size mirror, but let's get into the colors and the size of the actual eyeshadow pen. So the size of the actual eyeshadow pen is pretty big and it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, six, twelve, eighteen. 18. So it comes with 18 shadows and let's just get into these colors right now i don't want to have this fall out but this is gorgeous when i saw this it was something that i don't have in any of my palettes to be honest i don't think i mean i may have like a pink or a purple in one but what really stuck out to me was that yellow that orange in this teal down here so these colors are gorgeous um, I want to swatch a few of them and I'll probably do swatches you know what I'm gonna take swatch pictures and post them on my Instagram so they'll be posted on my Instagram stories and then I normally save it in the highlights so I'll do a swatch video there just so you guys can see how actual pigmented this palette is. So if you're not following me on Instagram, head over to my Instagram. It is Nikki Antoine. Um, and you should be able to find me there. Nikki, it's spelled with two K's. So N-I-K-K-I Antoine, A-N-T-O-I-N-E. So I'm going to do swatches on there. So head over there so you can check that out. But I am amazed at this palette. It looks even more beautiful in person. I mean, I was drooling, in all honesty, I was drooling over it online when she uh, posted the sneak peek of it. But I am really drooling over it right now. Like, this is a very nice, thought out palette. And I am super excited. I'm actually shocked that she doesn't have a black in here, but. I have enough blacks anyway <laughs> to be honest but i'm very glad like i'm happy about this purchase i felt like it was worth it and i'm excited to play in this and give serve you guys some looks with this 
So that was literally everything that I ordered from P. Louise. And then just as a bonus on this video, I wanted to include some things, some new things that I'll be trying out, some new makeup goodies. I mean, in my previous video, I did show you guys a little small mini haul during Vlogmas of some things that I picked up from Sephora. So aside from trying those new things out, some other new things that I will be trying were gifted to me for Krima. And I'm excited to use these as well. As you can see, I opened it up just to sort of kind of see. But I did want to share with you guys some cool new things that I'll be trying out. So the first one that I'm going to be trying out is the Juvia's Place, The Warrior by Juvia. I saw this one. I had been eyeballing it, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to purchase it. And I'm so glad that I received it as a gift. So this is the Warrior palette by Juvia and it is literally a neutrals, a neutrals person's dream come true. Like literally all neutrals. And it's just, it just has your typical brown, your different shades of gold, bronze. Like this is, I mean, chocolate girl friendly. So I'm super excited to try this one as well. I haven't had any complaints of any of the palettes that I've personally purchased from Juvia's. Um, and this is the first one that's been gifted to me. I haven't had any issues with her palettes. I actually love the pigmentation. I love how they look on my skin, how they blend. So I'm super excited to try this palette as well and add it to my collection. And then there were some other goodies. The next one is I won't be, well, these are new. Some of these, the shades are new, but I am not new to the brand Dose of Colors. Anybody that has been following me for a while, you guys know I love Dose of Colors. So this was the mini matte liquid lipstick set that they had the promo for for Christmas. And this is called Let's Get Toasty. So these are in the colors, let's see. So this first one is Stone, which I actually own this. I'm actually almost out, so I'm glad I have a little mini one. And they're like the perfect size, I just noticed, to travel with. If you're traveling and you just need it for like a couple of days, it's the perfect size to travel with. This next one is called Catching Feelings, which I haven't tried, so I'll be happy to try this one. And I believe, so this, so this video isn't super long. I'm going to do, like I said, all the swatches on my Instagram. This next one is Heartbreaker. And to me, all these nudes already look like they're going to be bomb on me. And Truffle. This is another one that I have tried and that I own. Which I believe I'm almost out of Truffle. So this is a good little uh, re-up for me until, you know. I need to buy a new one. So this is something else that I'm going to be trying out in videos. This next uh, thing, I think everybody should own a sugar scrub, which is funny because in my last video, I had just uh, purchased one from Bite Beauty, but I actually had this one in my Ulta cart because this is another brand that I wanted to try. So I was super excited that I was gifted it. Thank you, Crystal. And this one is the Beauty Bakery Sugar Lip Scrub and it's just a normal lip scrub so i was excited to try that so after I, i'll probably alternate you know in all honesty alternate between my two lip scrubs um i just recently popped open the bite beauty one so um the next time i do a little scrub a dub dub i'll probably use this one this next thing is by morphe and it is metallic eyeshadows this is called metallic heat and it says three shades that burn bright I actually did not open this up because I wanted to open it up during the video. And I'm trying not to break a nail. Oh, this is cute. I actually thought it was an eyeshadow palette, but these are actually liquid. This is not, oh, I'm excited to try this too. I guess literally, I guess it is in the cards for me to step out of my box and, you know, challenge my makeup abilities. So the three shades that burn bite, these glittery lightweight liquid eyeshadows stay on your eyes and off your cheeks. Just apply in thin layers and allow to dry. Rock them as liners or all over the lid. So they come like this with a little loofah, but they're super nice. I'll swatch these as well. 
and the names are Flair, Fuego, I like that, and then this one is Ignite. This will look very nice on a smoky eye too. I may try that with that black base too, um, just to like spice it up a little bit. I feel like Ignite will be very, very nice with that. So these are super nice. I'm excited to try these as well. I'm excited to try out all this stuff to be honest. I just like makeup. And then the last makeup product are these two new lippies by Morphe. I have never tried a Morphe lippie before, especially a liquid lipstick. So this will be new for me. And then the two shades I have is Hot Shot and Jealousy. And they are just your normal uh, matte. Both of them are matte, matte liquid lippies. And... They come like this. This is very nice packaging. Oh my gosh. Very, very nice. And. Oh, it smells nice too. And I will swatch these on my Instagram as well. I got a lot of swatching to do. <laughs> but. Of course, I love swatching for you, huns. And not only that, like I like to see the color on my skin tone. And then the last thing that I'm going to try, um, and this is the hair product. It's a super nourishing um, coconut and fig hair mask by Coco and Eve. And I thought the packaging was super cute. And it comes like this. And it came with this nice little hair detangler thingamajiggy to get deep down in there. But I want to see, does it smell? Oh, it smells, you know what? It smells clean, but it also smells to me like a baby. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Like, you know that baby smell? That's what it smells like to me. So I'm excited to try this on my hair. I know coconut oil is very good for you. Let's see what it says it's made of. It says share your results. It tells you, it gives you best tips, how to treat it, how to use the tangler, and what it was. Um, so it says the volcanic beaches and coconut plantations of Bali are masks designed to not only make your hair look, feel, and smell amazing, but also provide endless health benefits too. The ingredients are two supercharged ingredients, raw version coconuts and fig will transform your hair after only one treatment. Shea butter hydrates, wolf's argan oil, and linseeds prevent split ends, tame frizz, and add shine to your locks. And it says, what makes us different? Just in case you needed another reason to love us, our mask doesn't contain damaging and drying parabens, sulfates, um, sulfates like 98.9% .9 of hair products do. Our mask is also gluten-free, vegan-friendly, and we absolutely do not test on animals. So that's nice to know if you look for products to see, you know, if that's something that you want to try out. But huns, that is literally everything I have to share with you beautiful, beautiful people today. Um, these are just some things that I received that I'm going to try out. And I am super excited to get into the artsy makeup mode and just, you know, us just live it up together in 2019 and share. So I'm super excited to share the new products and things and, you know, on this road in 2019 together. So until next time, huns, you guys have a great day. Hey huns, it is finally here. I am doing my first giveaway and I am super excited. For details and reference to this giveaway, head over to my Instagram page for all the rules and details on what I'm giving away. Good luck.